Project Watch. This is LP. Today, on the big, big Easter Sunday, we drop a video talking about somebody who basically, if they get them hands on you, there will be no rising after the third day or the fifth day or any day for that matter. But if they won't even be a body, they bury. Matter about last, never found again. In the Rajik video, I tell you about the funeral home. Tell you about the bright light boss, Tommy. I tell you, I can tell you exactly what I'm going on in the lizard. Right. How them do lizard? And why would you want to lizard again? But in the lizard alone. It's not lizard alone. Enough people. In this video, I'm going to talk about somebody else who is well known to many Jamaicans and you may remember the case uh, the same Tommy uh, can't help you know I talk about Nick Photoworks you have to hear how this brother the bright light boss told the man devious uh, the man even helped the family look for Nick body no answer uh, and them have it extraordinary you know the criminal on the road in Iron Man is so connected that sometimes they go looking for crack one case and end up crack all ten more because I see people involved in everything. But before I go into that, we have two things. First one, as I said, special shout out. I don't know, Easter Sunday, so special shout out to the devil worshipping Jamaicans them who made their way to the church today. I don't know for them things already. Weekdays is for evil, weekends for Christ. Monday to Friday. It's my wickedest people may ever see. Daddy devil let me say. But Saturday or Sunday. Hallelujah. Then I hear them turn Muslim and then turn Rasta. Most religious people on earth. Just so happen to be the people who murder at the highest rate known to man. It's extraordinary. Big up on yourself still. Also a Patreon birthday a shout out. For me telling about Bright Light Boss. Of them the Nick and all kind of things. This one goes out to the man known as Frost Bees coming from your brother Ace. Ace and I know say is actually the bees who introduced him to the local YouTuber in 2019. We know someone don't even know how to make content in 2019. So a bees introduced Ace to the local YouTuber and you see turn no no Ace. A Patreon squad and I send a shout out back to the bees. To first bees, big up yourself. Right. Get to understand, say. Right. All the way in the UK. Right. You know the queen place, well. You know the king place. Right. So big up yourself, first bees, and big up yourself, yes. Bright light boss, Tommy. We don't know about him. Now you about him. We don't see bright light about the place. Connected deeply to the underworld. Your favorite big wigs them. Till I already saw him such man used to get rid of. These are permanently. When they want the body them, there's no way the body can find. Yes, illegal cremations. Let me see. The pit bull them. A bark load. I'm telling already how this works. Remember, I say such man don't tell him to say, right? They might have sheep and they the shepherds. Why would I waste my time with the sheep when we can just go straight to the shepherd? Their defenses are trivial. Bad mind. What well, fight against? Fight against? Bad mind? Alright. Let me talk directly to the shepherd. Right. See as how I'm linked to Tommy and him and they I talk to Vibes Barabas, aka Vibes Bakra, aka Vibes Diddy. Tell everybody, say, I realize you're using your lawyer as an emissary. You think uh, he might get treated like, oh, you know, like him says, son, no, he speaks on your behalf. I talk about the lawyer guy there. I sprat back a man. Whenever him says something, there won't be any videos made about him. Uh, let me say, I'm going to waste time with the sheep. I deal with the shepherd. Vibes Barabbas, watch this. 
let me hear talk with you. Can you understand what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to scratch them head right now. Let me talk to you, Barbers. So you have the brothers, them, right? You have AP and you have JP. You ready for that one, Barbers? Vibes Diddy. Just remember the initials, right? AP and JP. Let me get into the video now. Nikita Thomas, aka Nick. AKA Nick Photoworks. Right, and his cousin Dwight went missing in 2015. Right, around October time. Vanished into thin air. Or thin dust. I'm going to talk about something with your mainstream media, your influencers, your agents, your puppets, them, I talk about. Right, as usual. We're not gonna make up on the nice. Oh, you know that you did it. Oh, you did How oh, come them now say this? You think you know more than All right, as usual. Right. Down the road, when time, when you find out certain things, then when you see him, when I go say, John, we look at you, but So, so when you normally late, so when I go about to do the rundown thing and try to prove nothing. In Ironman, illegal cremation is a big thing. Illegal cremation racket. Right, now, for the, the, the people who tell us that their job is to. Uh, investigate and research and highlight. Now highlight a damn thing. Tell everybody said the criminal underworld, uh, the big wigs, custodian class. They don't even fear the media because uh, them run it. Uh, them own it. Right, and the few people them in the media who would want to talk about certain things, I go tell us they're afraid. Uh, we'll go look at next work then. You can't be a mechanic and when time me carry me carry gonna fix it. I go say, boy, my sister, the whole like crank shaft mash up in me that fix it now, but I'm afraid of one other. So you're just going to stay in our mechanic shop. But don't do the mechanic work. That doesn't make any sense. You can't just keep calling yourself a mechanic and then time you ask me to fix the car, you tell me say you're afraid. Then go do one next work then. Just like with the burial site in more central village when you tell the boat. Just like, enough of the story them the Iron Man. Eventually, you will catch up. For decades, the funeral home business in Iron Man has been running like the Wild Wild West. And of course, you know, say, uh, there, is, uh, there are legitimate businesses. Again, I assume that all the people who have sense. Right. So, simple Simon on the back, the people who vibes did, vibes barbers referred to as him sheep, who not have to know. What are the people who have sense now? Obviously, we're not about all. But the funeral home industry, shaky. Can play a big part in a crime in the area, man. Big part. Especially when it comes down to losing bodies. Remember the video of me making, me going to the data and showing how much Jamaican go missing a year time? I mean, I said, oh, oh, a thousand people just gone, so. People just vanish into thin air just so. One of the way all them vanish, funeral homes, right. I do illegal cremation. You can't dig up on a cremated body, because obviously that dust them turn. Nick, or Nick Photoworks as he was affectionately known, that's actually his business name, but it ended up becoming name right. in the streets. Right. They have a cousin name, Dwight. No. He was a part of the underworld. Now, you know, for them business already, the type of business where when man things get shot and man things get missing, then people go missing. Right, so, Dwight was a shady character, to say the least. When Nick first got missing, there was you know, people that say, you know, Nick be involved in drugs and. Based on my intel, I'm not see nothing like that. Right. Obviously, can't put my head on the block for Nick, but none of my intel, none of my research, I'm not bringing nothing like that. Right. It was the cousin right, who did involve in a, the quote unquote game. The cousin did a foreign fly down and while did him. Get him opportunity with him to look for for a long time. Now, I understand that some of you might not be familiar with Nick. 
but he was like the guy when it comes on to camera and picture taking and him sitting there in a party and in place there. Right? Nick was the cameraman. Right? So any if you look on almost every old school photo where you see. Right? For, for that time period, you see Nick photo works plastered all over it. Right? Like anywhere the party there, anywhere the event there, right? and Nick. Right? I take the picture of him. So he was well known. Nick also knew any and everybody. Anybody upon the party scene, right? whether they are 9 to 5 people, whether they are grown man, whether they are Dan, whether they are a chef, whether they are a doctor, Nick, right? they upon the scene. So he might take everybody picture, everybody want Nick to take picture. Because that is in come for know everybody, good and bad. Nick was a popular youth. So this is why to this day, you know, people still ask about right, the Nick story. You now as me say, you know, how many you know, come across certain intel is because the underworld connected. So you know, if I try to solve one case, I end up solve all 10 more. As I see in people, let me love my this. This is how you tell us the lizard and the Nick situation is similar. Got the same people involved. Same Tommy. So what did them want to get out Dwight? So Dwight drop an Iron Man now. What did them use Nick to lure Dwight to a yard? But them do it on a style. And I like to them that make it known say, man I go kill man and are them a sending a threat. They might do everything on that style. Like a man find out say he take something from him and man find out say this not go down out for go down and so you know things so well, oh man listen unto me so everything good. Everything wasn't good. Then I'm gonna kill Dwight. If them ears say yo go link up runner so that no come line on. So Nick and Dwight now end up link up with the man then. Nick in the car and Dwight gone in the house with the man then. Go and talk. When time they reached the house, it wasn't a negotiation but nothing friendly. It was murder time. So the man them start stab up Dwight. Nick was in the car outside. No, it occurred to them. Right. Nick and Dwight come. Dwight going to the house. No Dwight dead. Then obviously Nick no say I must we kill him. So them send the Nick on that style. Like a Waldi then kill off Nick. Nick wasn't originally supposed to be dead. A Dwight never want to kill. But after killing Dwight, obviously there's a whole witness outside. We come with Dwight and they know Dwight dead, so we are going to tell him, say. And now you're hoping, say, in keep him out lock. And then people in the light deal with the hope thing. So if we tie up them loose ends, them kill Nick too. Somebody who them know very well. Somebody with them laugh and run joke and skin teeth with a million times. So I'm telling you, say, when time when they itch upside at certain people and talk about them, they're good man because he put on one tree. When you see him kill, plunder, and murder, and, 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 and violate a million people, but because he put on one tree, girl, and you and him cool, they say, no man, them are good youth man. And then one day, him in a situation where him now want certain things to back and and him realize, say, you might go call him name and then kill you too. So I saw them news. To get Nick through and go into the house. And when he go in there, then kill him. No the more problem on him hand. You see, Nick was naive. He was a jovial youth, friendly with everybody as we say. Anybody with up on the scene, no Nick. I am know everybody. Right. Him cool with everybody, including the people that might kill him. Everybody at yell Nick. Nick, take my picture, Nick, take my picture. Nick may I keep on party, more you come take my picture. Nick used a camera and turned it into a very profitable business. But a very few people, right, generate so much money with camera like when Nick that do. Right? He was doing very well for himself. I mean, a big time cameraman. But he was naive because him thinks, well, them man, yeah, right? even everybody knows in the streets that them man, yeah, are done and them man, yeah, are wicked and they may fling with people and chop off it. He thought, well, me and them cool, me not trouble nobody, me not do nobody nothing, so they're going to spear me and they won't do this to me. Yes, they would. And why did them kill him off? Them stab him up and kill him. Just like all them stab up Dwight. 
If you go up and link photo works IG page, you see some of the people there. Right, wait. Right. In take pictures off, take pictures beside. People who know what happened to him, even after I'm dead. Right. People who claim say they rate him and I'm friend them. All of them know that network. They know that network where Tommy and them and the inner and all them can last body. Right. They know all of this. All of the family are balls so they want to find Nick body. Them sit on that a, a, a rest hand on the family shoulder knowing full well right, what happened to Nick. So you know what I could talk about? Right, like boss. In that pain your screen. Remember in the day? Roger with them tell us the last must see me look like one gong lizard. Like a day walking vampire gong lizard. Well, this brother have a reputation in the streets right, for being brash, right, overly aggressive. He act like he's Genghis Khan. Right. Love bad up people, quick to fling and lick on people. What the fuck? Here's a video of him backstage a sting one time. Like big in a dance hall scene, you know. That's why I'm linked with your favorite artists and all them people. And you know, say music or dance hall and badness and the gang is intertwined. It's like conjoined twins. So in that you see in the video, you hear him talk, you hear him, see him go on, that's actually him on a good day. That's him being nice. Take a good look at him, he look like his soul left him body. Man. A big man is not looking like a man himself, look like a day walking vampire. Here's the crazy thing. Tell me help the family look for Nick, you know. Knowing say I didn't have the body. At one point in the claim say one body get washed up. When the family go and look for, for see then can identify the body and him say Nick body found and people are saying alright then finally find him, it wasn't him. Enough time them send the family from be a wild goose chase. Look at the body. Guess who did enough time? Right like boss. Damn. He stood beside the family the whole time I had look. I help the family look for smiley way. In the love. Now I know certain people in the family I said, no, look at YouTube, surely. Them time they tell me I live on the road where I look for Nick. Surely. Alright then, when time I tell you this next part, I go see the Intel I come from the highest of sources. Because then everybody knows this. Nick's family. Didn't he say to him at one point, say if you want to give him some money, he can help you know, find back Nick body? No, people don't know that. That wasn't put out in the news, I'm only aware. So you know, so the intel that comes from the highest of sources. You know, it's not a play play intel now we're talking about, right? The same Tommy who claims same rate, Nick, didn't he at one point say to the family, say, if they give him X amount of money, him can make them get back Nick body because he know people and him have links and this and that. Guess what? Or oh, he would have got back the body, alright. Because like him did have it. Think about it, him around a funeral home. There's nothing unusual about another body coming in. There's nothing unusual about her put them two bodies over there, so. It's nothing unusual. It's not like anybody in a funeral home are verify for check for sister. Right? Everybody will come in. He's not no missing. Although, to it around, and they say, I'm going to reach in the future. I'm going to start verify every single body with them funeral home here. Take up. Because some of them people eh, officially eh, just missing. Yes, the grown lizard looking day walker. Eh, the walk up and down with the family, I help them look for Nick. The man so vile at one point, the man tell the family, say, if you give me your money, then get him back because no, them no people. But they say the family start accepting Nick, Nick dead and gone. Which, of course, I must say you know this from early now, but you know, you know get closure, so sometimes in the back of your mind you say, I still a kind of hope, I'm still a kind of hope, 
Boy, but the whole time, Tommy got the body. Nick's death took a great toll on him family. His mother suffered multiple strokes afterwards. Just like many Jamaicans, even now they can't get the grip so happened to Nick. Because when they get the body, the ten times worse. When they don't have a physical body for hold on to one ball and get one last morning session over, it look like a lick harder. The dance hall crowd who let her about them miss Nick. People them who we went and the family keep the look you know, march and time them walk around and ask some questions and put up some signs to Nick. Now for them who go there and talk about, oh we love Nick, I will miss Nick, them know exactly what going on. Smile wicked these people never say. That crowd that dance hall people they wasted did a walk around and talk about, oh Nick, 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 we miss Nick, I'm less about the family. Some of the wickedest people they ever seen. Well, because they know who kill him as soon as he's dead. Vile set of people them. Oh, mommy, come and put my hand around you. I see him crowd party promoters and selectors and all them people who claim so. Do one one dance all fraternity. Right, them know what happened. Them know what happened because they can't tell you about that story where we in a year or so. Them can't add on part where in a year or so. Them know exactly what go down. From it go down. That small world. The underworld is small. This is why I tell you, say, you go for crack one case and crack ten. But you look for one, something about one smudging and find ten more. You say, oh, well, you never even know say to all them link and connected. They know everything. By the way, these are the same people, you know. Man. Go build much IG page and Facebook page and TikTok page and now pop up on the gram and I help set certain narratives. These are agents, so anytime I see them I talk about free this and free that, I just laugh because I know them background. And I know it's a long time I do this. And by the way, police know what Tommy into, you know, they just can't prove it. Just like how them, them know say that's sci-fi, and them know say that's JJ Nakis, but they can't get no conviction at the same thing. Them know where bright lights are going on, you know. It's very connected. Very protective. That's why I'm beef. So when they see him talk to people, the reason why I'm going to act like he's untouchable. The reason I'm act like saying he's God Almighty is because fiend protection is not just from the underworld. Many of your favorite big wigs, your politicians, right, the custodian class, suit and tie, right, 87, 90, right across the board. Because of him, them use for dispose of bodies permanently. He might have enough people's secret. And because he might have enough people's secret, this is why he behaves a certain way. Because as he gets in a trouble, he just make a call. And the people he make a call, he might have their secret. If Tommy ever go a day in a jail, he wouldn't make it to court. He might end up like Epstein. Then he can't make him talk certain things. If Tommy ever start talk certain things, Jamaica turn upside down. You'd be very surprised to know if some of your favorite sophisticated Jamaicans are going to tell them one last bodies. And he's not alone, by the way, but he's the biggest night. But he's not alone. There are some little small you know, funeral homes that people don't really know about to go the same thing. But he's the biggest night. And he's the one that has demonstrated that you can really keep secret. To them love work with him. Jamaica turn upside down. You tell them no one with the amount of people family them cremate. The amount of people family where they make can never get closure. See, sometimes you have to really still and scratch your head. And I say, oh, people want so much wickedness and nothing to them. You have to scratch your head. But then say the rain fall upon the just and the unjust. But believe it or not, Tommy himself would have end up. Suffer some of the pain where he help drop from other people. When his son would be brutally slain, a foreign of all places. I realize there's a pattern here. When I'm always tell about the sins of the father and the son, you have to really scratch your head, you know. I see, see a pattern. Enough of the sons, I mean, the father them go and certain things. They come like enough of the son them. Some serious crosses for the back of them, you know. Look how much money they make. Look how much money them father make. With them evil deeds, it look like said the cross is dropped and the pit them see them. You think to the pit them that go and go live a life of happiness and, and wealth and luxury and a be a cross is Tommy's son will end up getting killed. You see like many top coots in the Ironman. 
them the beer evil in a iron man and then them send them pitney all over the world go to this and go, go on away to go study this and go on away to go study that man, some of them so them want to keep them pitney far from the man is what they want to do you know they want to kill off beer youths in the garrison they want to kill off beer youths in a spanish town beer youths in, in a trailer and the beer youths right in a hanover right? and then them send them for them families so nobody can do them to them and sometimes the crosses reach out to pick them all are fine. Some of these children who come from these devilish individuals. Some of the people even grew up bougie. They grew up in a little bourgeois lifestyle. Speaks so well. Some of these children will tell you that, you know, all you have to do to be like us is just to work hard. When the old thing them father work hard at his death and destruction. Their daddy built their empires on blood. And if I these people will tell us, just work hard and you can be like me. Alright. Acidic Junior. We want to check this out. Look on your screen. Extraordinary stuff. I miss a mess to see a pattern. I could like drop on the fire to the sun. Bright light funeral director stone. So Tommy Thompson, 29 year old son's body arrived in the island at the Norman Manly Airport. Go on to mention to Thompson. He said his grieving process has been made much worse due to the poor condition in which his son's body was sent to the island. So much so, he'll be taking legal action against the England based funeral home responsible. Listen to this. And this is from Tommy himself. I've been in this business for a while. Our presentation is what made us what we are today. When I went to the airport and saw the condition of my son was sent down, it hurts. You know what also hurts, Tommy? The world of people in we are lost. We are born up, we are cremated, and their family will never get closure. That hurt too. We don't care about for them hurt. Remember the people only care about hurt when them hurt. People support the acidity, support death and destruction until they reach them. Then all of a sudden, them tell about the pain, the pain. Just like the pain everybody feel when time only make for them loved ones dead and disappear. But the Jamaican masses don't have no interest in, you know, the pain of regular people. When them favorite celebrities dead, them gather around and sing Kumbaya. Oh my God, it must be hurting. Just like the people but then kill them are hurt too. The old people where them kill and make a missing hurt too, but they missing about them. Do you? Someone in the body talk about, oh, the hurt, the hurt. Guess what? We're all in it together. Let's all hurt. Man, since I said that, go then. Since your, since your idol and your God must make everybody hurt, how about we, we all hurt and just share in the other community? Let's just share the hurt. Man, since when you think Sefu the general special, man, and them never feel no hurt, they must do them one, don't come out time. They must live to 100 years. Everybody else must dead. When they more and then did. And I said it worked, brother. He was on the state. He was not properly embalmed. It's like when you go to a crime scene and just pick up a body. That's how I received my son and that destroyed me. Destroyed you. It also destroyed Nick's family. Tommy. Make sure so he can never be found. That, that destroyed Nick's family. Destroyed lizard family. Too. Destroyed no family. But you don't care about them. Do you, Tommy? Was on the state. I couldn't believe that here was my son. We're gonna take legal action, whatever the cost. We're prepared to go all the way. Right now, I have to be here fixing my son. I have no problem fixing him, but the family, my other kids, right now, they're all traumatized by the whole situation. Traumatized? You know who else is traumatized, Tommy boy? You know who else is still traumatized to this day? Nick's family. You cretin. You vile day walking drunk lizard. You know what is traumatized? The many Jamaicans you've lost. Turn him into dust. Tommy boy. Goes on to see it. Thompson's son, Andrew, was in his second year of pursuing a degree in engineering at the university in England, but was murdered two weeks ago, having been stabbed 15 times. You know who else? You know who else was stabbed? Tommy boy? Nick. I wonder if it was also 15 times. Murder most foul. 
You know who else was stabbed to death, Tommy boy? Your so-called bridging Nick. That's really scratch your head. We don't see certain things staring out, you know. This brother, make sure it's a Nick body can never, ever, 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 ever be found. And then, him son, that England, I got big school. I do big degree for big title. Far away from Jamaica, right? So he's safe, right? His son will be taken away from him. Stabbed 15 times for really scratch your head in the man. I tell us that sometimes that for really scratch your head. Because you see people go around and do evil all day and say, boy, look what them are evil and not come out of it. Nothing happened to them. England! The UK dead, you know? Sometimes when I'm on the live, some things reach you now and I say, what me do? What me do why this reach me? Sometimes I know what you do. How your papa do? How your mama do? Drop on you, you know? The old time people, them always tell a kill for you in this world because it might not even affect you, but you might drop on your pit to them. That boy was in England of all places. It's relatively big, big, low crime country that a degree in engineering. Just like many people in Jamaica, them do all kind of death and destruction. Right, them destroy much lives, then they send their children to go to big tycle of foreign, far from the madness. Him son couldn't escape the madness. The madness find him in England. That boy was stabbed 15 times. May his soul rest in peace. We you know who was also stabbed up viciously. Nick. So we can't even tell him, so I stabbed and stabbed him. I'm showing an idea of how high level the intel is. Stop and stab him up. He mentioned that the stabbing was quote unquote over a woman. And the perpetrator turned himself into the police. Listen to this. But the fact that his son's murderer is in custody is of little comfort to Thompson, who is now in the process of re embalming his son. He said, So bad was his son condition that even the police officers and handlers on the scene were shocked and said they'd never seen a body in such a bad condition. Police them say, Tommy Thompson's son get sent down in a condition they've never seen his body was in a really bad state. Her body traumatized. Even Tommy Thompson himself would deal with much dead body traumatized. So you know, saying bad him son in a real bad condition. I wanna tell me certain things that happen by chance, by coincidence. Listen to this now man. Tommy say. The wounds were still open, his mouth was open wide, and his mouth is supposed to be sewn shut from the inside. They did not seal his wounds, so they opened it to all kinds of bacteria and he was in a body bag with his clothes on top. The world needs to know this. The world needs to know this. The world needs to know about you, Tommy boy. What you have done, many are Jamaicans, many are people. No, they might say, yeah, but... Some of them wonder they mix up, mix up, when they use the argument the people only like. Notice all them say, right? Them say certain people, oh, if you mix up in that crime, you're dead, some of the business. My mother them say, I'm not need to skill lizard. Because lizard are criminal. And they mix up in that badness. Well, by that logic, I'm not need to dead too. Because they mix up in that badness too. No dog, no dog. That different dog. If a man is a second chance in a life dog, you can't watch that dog. It's master dog. So you can't watch that brother because of, So when it comes down to who they like, they start doing mental gymnastics. So then they know you. And you have a ratchet on your waist if you're dead. But if they know you and like you, and you have 15 million tunes, or if you kill 1500 people and sacrifice them and drink them blood, then it's still no matter. Free that man. It goes on to state. Again, from Tommy Boy himself. I'm looking at my son's wound. How could you do that to me? How could you do that to me? Do that to you? Come like him at all to fate itself. How could you do that to Nick's family? Daywalker. How could you do that to Nick's family? Daywalker. Listen to that part you now. He said, when I'm shipping a body out of Jamaica, it's for me to ensure that the human remains are properly embalmed and the standards that the Jamaican system entrusted to me to execute and adhere to. That means full embalming. We ensure, it come like him at our ad. He goes on to mention that, you know, they make sure say, the body is not suffering from any form of decomposition before 
placement in an airtight casket. Airtight. Showing a little promo in the meantime, you know. You know, fool of feet, see me. Isn't that right, Tommy Boy? Vile cretin. Tommy Boy felt the pain that he thought he would never have to feel. He probably thinks I'm gonna bury him. And I'm gonna bury one. Same pain Tommy Boy inflicted on many others. How do you dispose of someone's child's body and then help this man look for them? No found the man out there careful on Ado. Cause the things only get you cause in the, all on the evils and still get for drive Benz and Bim and all these things and live the most life. And you say, look how me get away, me get with everything. Boy, life nice in you. You might still get it down the road. And your people they might get it. And your grandchildren they might get it. And the children's children's children might get it. No one I do. Them live like evil, yeah? When I play with some very dark forces. Yeah, when I think when I understand getting myself into. Illegal cremations. They don't want to talk about it. They might remember me say things like this and then look crazy. Them say, you see, oh my god, he's he's losing his mind now. And now he's just making up things. Now he's desperate to make up things. Alright, one day down the road and you hear certain things come out then. No, I don't go on. Again, vibe diddy. Tell Ice Frap back a man to go up on the more platform and see. See, played right into my hands. I know I spark love attention. So I'm going to start going and do a world tour and start talking and talking and talk. And laugh and laugh and laugh. And then I get the last laugh. Patreon squad, big up on yourself. PIA, you don't know. No light. Ultra squad, stay circling. Bless.